coming soon to Sky Atlantic. Groundbreaking drama from the makers of the young Pope, the Scottish Pope. Yeah. One hoops. <laughs> Having a party, needing a bouncy castle, then look no further than Boynes of Springboy. <laughs> Boynes of Springboy to the premier bouncy castle high firm in the hill of the west bit of the east end of Glasgow. We do wee ins for the wee ins, bigger ones for the bigger ones, and reinforced ones for the fatties. Bouncy castles you can fling your duds on for a laugh. <laughs> Go large and have for an extra hour so the grown-ups can get a shot after they've had a few swallies. <laughs> and no matter what fluids end up in it, all our bouncy castles are washed and hosed back at the ranch for your peace of mind. <laughs> Birthdays, weddings, christenings, graduations, funerals, divorces, prison releases. Boynes of Spring Boyg has the bespoke bouncy castle for every celebration. Boynes of Spring Boy, your one-stop bouncer castle house shop. <laughs> well, yes, it's true. It really is. I did once seriously consider investing in rangers with a view to making them financially secure and challenging for the SPL title again. In the end, though, I decided to run for president because I thought at least that was achievable. What do I bring to the Celtic manager's job? Uh, well, hopefully I'm buying into the philosophy because in my heart there's real passion, in my head real belief, and on my face, fake big. <laughs> Following the success of the Homeless World Cup, Glasgow is set to host another football tournament, the Steaming World Cup. Oh, pass it here. <laughs> another figure involved in the hanging of two Rangers-related effigies at Celtic Park has been arrested by police. And Scottish football has been rocked by a bribery scandal. A sting set up by the Banffshire Gazette uncovered the stench of corruption in the Aberdeen and District Amateur Football League. If I'd like, Ken, I can have one with the officials, no problem, and I can make sure the result goes the way you want it, Ken, but it'll cost you three, maybe four packets of tatty scones. <laughs> maybe you can sign another laddie, but yeah, you have to keep me sweet. Have you got what we discussed? Absolutely, yes. It's, it's all there. Ah, good. That's four sacks of turnips, a bag of cement, <laughs> and a poke of sir plums. <laughs> 2016 has been a bumper year for Scottish tennis, and a new coaching initiative aims to get even more Scots playing the game under the watchful eye of Judy Murray. Nice. Sit out in front. So the idea is anyone can drop by and learn new skills? Absolutely anyone. <laughs> Excuse me, why is, uh, is this the correct locale for the tennising? Yes, it is. Oh, Lady Judy, can't you say it as a... It was a pure honour for I, a Frankie boy, to be of meeting your fair self and, and offer my congratulations to your, your boys' successes and, and, and you becoming the nation's most, most glamorous of grannies. <laughs> Thank you very much. You. Have you uh, much experience of this game? Well, you, you know, growing up in the Milton, we were not blessed with, with tennis courts in the back greens. And back then, it wasn't so much Lendl and Connors as, as Mental and Honors, you know. <laughs> Willing to learn. Correct Mundo. I mean, every day is a school day. So let's talk technique. Do you have a favourite stroke? <laughs> a favourite stroke? <laughs> to be honest, I mean, they're all pretty good, you know? Shall we try a few? Oh, is, is, is that what you mean? Aye, 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 sure. Eh? Well, just, just hold on there. Eh? I'll away and get my back. Right. <laughs>
You're not very fit, are you? Have you ever jumped a net? <laughs> For more. What does she look like? <laughs> OK. So it's getting dark and it's starting to get cold. Now, as a survivalist, the first thing you need in this situation is warmth. So you need to start a fire. There are a couple of ways to do this. The tried and tested of rubbing two pieces of flint together, or a much simpler method, the Samsung Galaxy Note. <laughs> Oh, yes, I enjoyed Euro 2016. Now, listen, it's true, Scotland weren't involved, but the other nations from these islands provided plenty to hold my interest. You know, Ireland's victory over Italy, Wales versus Belgium, Northern Ireland defeating Ukraine. And, of course, England gave me immense pleasure when they got pumped by Iceland. <laughs> Gareth Southgate? Oh, he's a gentleman. First thing he did when he got the England manager's job was send me a text saying, thanks. <laughs> Booze gate. See, know this, right? Booze gate is a myth. For a start, we weren't boozing at the gate. It was in the bar. <laughs> and the paper said it was an all-night bender. Well, it wasn't an all-night bender. It was just a, a maester the night bender. <laughs> and there was other players involved in it as well, not just me. And I've never revealed who they were because I told Scott Brown, your secret's safe with me, mate. I'm David Heyman, actor, documentary maker, whiskey drinker, and this is Scotch. Ushka Bay, the water of life, the elixir of elation, the brew of brew ha ha. Nothing gently caresses your thrapper like a dram, a goldie, a nip. A right good charge, or a slug of the hard stuff. <sighs> Scotland's gift to the world. Sorry, cut, cut, cut. Sorry, David. Uh, just as an aeroplane going overhead. Oh. Can, can we do one more for sound, please? Thanks, yeah. David. No problem. Oh, I'll need some. Uh, <laughs> well, no, yeah. Take two. Whiskey. <laughs> Scotland's gift. <laughs> cut. Sorry, <laughs> come again. Take three. Whiskey. <laughs> Scotland's gift to Sorry, the world. Cut, cut. Excuse me, we're filming here. Oh, I could have guessed. Take four. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> Scotland's gift to. Cut, boom in. Take six. Whiskey. <laughs> Scotland's gift. Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Whiskey. Scotland's gift to the world. Cut. Take 15. I'm a Haywood Damon. <laughs> Do the things. And see whiskey. See bollocks, by the way. <laughs> Scotch whiskey knocks that Irish shite in his hole. It's, it's the water of life. That's life. That's what people say. Is that a song as a land? Oh, uh, forgive me. For I'm nothing but an ignorant fud. <laughs> the, the ball's empty. Can we go again? You can say what you want, but this is not an old firm match. No, no. It's a Selic versus Sevco match because I'm sorry, but they are not the same club. What? Listen. They look like Rangers. They sound like Rangers. They smell like Rangers. And I hate them with an absolute passion that burns in the depths of my very soul. But they're not really Rangers. <laughs> so I kind of get worked up about them, you know. I can't stand them. Their colours make my skin crawl. I cross the street to avoid them, and their logo makes me bulk. One of my colleagues had a mug with their crest on it. I'll admit it. I grogged in it. We hate them, and they hate us. That's just how it is with Rangers fans and Sports Direct. Well, right from the start, this club has said it did a, a four-year plan to come up the divisions and win the title again. Well, I can report that six years into that four-year plan, things are progressing well. 
Coming soon to BBC Scotland. A brand new case on a brand new island. So this is Millport. <laughs> Millport. A unique location for a unique type of crime. Something washed up on the beach, sir. Just as I thought. A gonk. <laughs> Found witnesses. Knocking every door on the island. Take 25 minutes if you have to. <laughs> Featuring loads and loads of staring out to sea and <laughs> contemplating. With a guest appearance by him that always plays a creepy hermit. Playing a creepy hermit. You've come alone. Aye. Then that'll be 50 pence, please. <laughs> Until you're round. Millport. An island like no other. Sir. Shh. I'm staring. Featuring high speed chases. <laughs> this is Millport. It's the dead eyes. They give you away. And now we smile. You're full of no one. <laughs> Look, times are tough. We wouldn't do this if we weren't desperate. I'll just stick to the plan, like we said, and no one gets hurt. You ready? Aye. Let's do this. I want all the money you've got, now. That's what you want to drink? Never mind a drink. Just give us the money. No, no, no get, get a drink. OK, change that. Uh, all the money you've got and, and two Cokes. You want fries? I, I get fries at all. Aye, I, I get fries. So that's all the money you've got, two Cokes and two fries. Right. Drive to the next window, please. <laughs> so that's all the money we've got, two Cokes and two fries. Yes, Thank yes, you. Right, go, go, go! Excuse me, eh, uh, no straws. Oh, sorry. Go! <laughs> There's been big changes at Celtic Stadium. In the north curve, the seats slide back so that during European games, it's a, it's a standing section, and they slide out so that during Scottish League games, it's a sleeping section. <laughs> I think Scotland has to stay in the single market because the single market is important to the Scottish people. We must always be able to buy a, a single fish, a single sausage and a single fag. Following his long silence after being awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature, Bob Dylan has posted the following musical statement. Thank you, Mr. Nobel, for the literature prize. Recognition is sweeter when you're old. But I won't be coming over to pick up what I'm due. Because Sweden is too cold. <laughs> Thank you. For outstanding contribution to music, charity, Lycra, eyeliner sales, and divorce lawyers, Mr. Rod Stewart. And there he is, the soon-to-be Sir Rod Stewart. And I'm sure the flamboyant showman wouldn't wish to do anything to detract from such an auspicious occasion. <laughs> Hail, hail. <laughs> As a member of that elite band of Celtic fans, they bring a special atmosphere to home games. That's right, the Nuisance Brigade. I make sure I go to every game with what every true Celtic fan needs. Flares, a Palestinian flag, and a chip in each shoulder. 
<laughs> and also a member of the 67 Lisbon Lions Club. And see, to be honest, I didn't know there were 67 Lisbon Lions. I thought there was only 11. <laughs> was I on the pitch at the Scottish Cup final? No way. I'm a true blue dyed in the wool Rangers man. So I left the stadium with 20 minutes to go. <laughs> I didn't have a problem with Joey Barton tweeting. Except when he was doing it when he was meant to be man-marking Scott Brown. <laughs> My name's Joey Barton. I'm from Liverpool, and I'm a proud Livertonian. But I'm not just a typical scally scouser. I'm intellectually open to new cultures and new concepts. Errol Grey? No, Joey Barton. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> I'm into my meditation and therapeutic techniques. I focus on the present, you know, accept all my feelings and body sensations. I call it mindlessness. It's a mental state. And trust me, Joy Barton is better than anyone at creating a state that is truly mental. <laughs> I can spend hours with a book, and sometimes I even open it. I looked at one recently by Thomas Carlyle called Free Will. It's all about the importance of free will. I think they made it into one of the best ever movies about a whale. <laughs> My current favorite book, though, is this one. <laughs> While we're waiting for the, the crowds of me fans to turn up, let me read you a short extract from me book about my time in Marseille, France. Ho ho, he ho he ho. <laughs> it is how you say, wunderbar, yeah? <laughs> I wrote that. Okay, so I like a bet. Oh, three to one. But I've learned my lesson, so trust me. You don't need a bet to enjoy a match. And fair play to the Scottish football authorities, you know, they're doing all they can to discourage gambling so fans can enjoy the Ladbrokes SPL, the William Hill Scottish Cup and the Betfred League Cup without feeling any pressure to place a bet whatsoever. So, oh, bingo. In a recent poll, Sunset's Song was voted Scotland's favourite book. But did this choice reflect the true nature of the nation's reading habits? As a peer of Warrelum, I like a right page turn on every sense of the word, so I do. And that's why I picked the book what I did. Because you is guaranteed something different on every page. And that's why my favourite book is The Argos Catalog. <laughs> Can't decide where to go? Choose the ultimate staycation with Strachan Holidays. Did we go to France? No. Are we going to Russia? No. <laughs> Choose Strachan Holidays and holiday at home. No booking fee, cos you're no going anywhere. Where will they make? Hamel day me. Every time. Strachan Holidays. Oh, yes. You know, I, I feel for the supporters of my old team, Aberdeen. You know, losing yet another cup final. I mean, that long, miserable journey back from Glasgow, that can... I can take three hours by coach or, or 19 hours by score <laughs> Single, living in a rural community, feeling frisky? <laughs> Try this new online dating app. Footer, see someone you like, check you're definitely not related to them, and swipe right. <laughs> Select all singles in a 150-mile radius. True love could just be a short ferry crossing and two bus rides away. <laughs> Get yourself a footer. <laughs> Brexit means Brexit. There's no going back. It's like when you're driving down the motorway. Miss your Brexit in your hump. <laughs> could Celtic win the league in Scotland with... Stephen Gerrard playing centre mid. I think Celtic could win the league in Scotland with Stephen Fry playing centre <laughs> mid. Now that's it, man, eh? I'm off the gear. Who? Which ride? I just can't handle the hallucinations anyway, eh? What I saw the last time, it was just too much for us, eh? No, no the baby crawling along the ceiling again. Huh? No. It was, it was much more mental than that, eh? I 
thought I saw Hebs when the Scottish Cup. <laughs> Edinburgh. My friends and I love Hogmanay. In Glasgow, my friends and I love Hogmanay. We take to the streets, we have a drink, we sing the traditional songs. We take to the streets, have a drink, sing the traditional songs. The rugby's on, so we round up the gang, catch up with them. Football's on, so we round up the gang, catch up with them. And it kicks off. It can get messy. When it kicks off. <laughs> Gets messy. Next day, it's down to the fourth for the Looney Duke. Next day, it's down to the Clyde for the Looney Puke. <laughs> He's back. Andre Ryu returns with a wonderful new collection of tunes. Andre Ryu's great Scottish football fan songbook includes Dig a Hole and Bury Him in Your Dundee Slum. Who's the Mason in the Black? And the Timeless Classic, Sacked in the Morning. <laughs> Andre also interprets the genre's more challenging works, such as The Billy Boys, <laughs> The Boys of the Old Brigade, and a What's It Like to Be Intimate with a Sheep? Thankfully, without lyrics. <laughs> what bowmanship. And Andre signs off with a cheeky cheerio. <laughs> Magical, wonderful. Andre Rieu's great Scottish football fan songbook. Available at all good record shops, hair salons, and pie stores. <laughs> yes, it's been a long season. The players get to go in a well-deserved lap of honour and give something back to the fans. And oh, well, there's the, there's the captain handing over his shirt. Oh, that's a that's a wonderful souvenir. And there's the goalie giving the fans his gloves. That's so nice to see. And there's the star striker with his toddler. Well, surely that's the best souvenir of the Lord. What really are wonderful scenes. Are you John from the dating site? Different from the pictures you had online. You fancy a cheeky me in handles? Yeah. Quite a while, Cheers. Where did you get your lava lamp? Off eBay. And it isn't a lava lamp. It's the latest Russian athlete's urine sample. <laughs> Have you left your family enough money for your funeral? <laughs> because if you have, nay. <laughs> well then, why not pay for your funeral in advance with a geese your dosh afore you croak funeral club? <laughs> you can catch me most mornings between 10 and 11 in the Ladbrokes in Maryhill Road. <laughs> geese your dosh afore you croak. Part of the Gemi Creme Group. You got a free bookies pen, just for inquiring. <laughs> We're talking about deprivation. We're talking about unemployment. We're talking about a breakdown in society. But we're gonna do something about it. Trust me, and it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna go into Paisley and make St. Mirren great again. Make St. Mirren great again. Well, you know, it's, it's great to see that America is continuing with the tradition of electing presidents with, with great memorable initials, you know, like John F. Kennedy, JFK, Lyndon B. Johnson, LBJ, and Donald J. Trump, GTF. <laughs> Nice to see 
the Scotland fans heading back to Wembley? No, that's the SNP MPs bus from Westminster. <laughs> globe-trotting First Minister who's always on the go... ..if you hold the highest of offices and the highest of heels. If you have to keep on stoting even when your feet are loping, then you need a Dr Sturgeon stiletto insoles. Dr. Sturgeon's stiletto insoles, soothes, numbs, pampers. In 2016, anything was possible. They said it couldn't be done, but we won. In 2016, anything was possible. They said it couldn't be done, but we won. In 2016, they said... I... <laughs> I'll give them a quote. <laughs> I don't mind players having a laugh, and if the players want to do the mannequin challenge, that's, that's fine by me. Just wish they wouldn't do it during the match. 